Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Yes. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this frame. Isn't this beautiful? Yes, this is beautiful and um, it's very, very simple to make. Very, very simple. This is a request video for one of my subscribers. He asked me to, he sent some pictures to me that I should make, uh, I should teach how to make frame, picture frame. This kind of picture in my country here in Nigeria is very, very common in every home. In fact, most homes have this kind of frame, yes. And uh, it's been given as gift, um, birthday gift, wedding anniversary gift. You know, and we see it as a very, very, you know, valuable gift that people really appreciate. So I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about this that you can make yourself and also make money from it. You know, this channel is all about teaching skills that can generate income. So every part of this video is important. So don't skip any part because all the informations are very very vital <laughs> yes all right so let's just go to the material that we need in order to create this beautiful art work all right so the first thing that we need is the clear picture your clear picture the soft copy of your clear picture so that is the first thing that you need it can be your picture it can be anything that you want to frame it's not necessarily it's not a must that it should be a picture it can be a word it can be anything that you want to frame and also if you are yet to watch my video on how to customize this shirt i'm going to drop the link in the description box below just go ahead and watch the video we will need frame it depends on the kind of uh, frame that you want it depends on how big you want uh, your picture or anything you want to write or anything you want to frame to be so this is the smallest frame in the market this type of frame uh, is seven by five inches um, frame so we have other frames too 10 by uh, 16 we have 10 by 16 we have and 10 by 12 inches frame so it, it it depends on how big you want the frame to be so this is a frame and it also comes in different colors and but most of the time it comes in this shape this uh, square shape it comes in this square shape you see that this other color is different from that uh, other one. So the first thing you need is your frame. So I got this frame for 1,000 Naira in my area. This particular one is 1,000 Naira. Now the second thing that we need is, you know, the soft copy of your picture. You're going to take it to a printing shop. Unless you have a printing machine at home that prints uh, this kind of... Uh, that, that prints like this but if you don't have you don't have to bother yourself just take your picture or anything to a printing shop where they print colored um, pictures or colored they call it the high where they print banners just take it there they have most of these printing shop do sell art paper art paper a r t a r t art paper so they are going to print your picture on art paper so this picture was printed on art paper you see this particular you see the this place i'm touching so this is actually the paper so they printed on art paper so when you print it on art paper now when you're going go with your frame go with your frame reason being that uh in order to know the measurements of uh the picture the picture they are going to print for you so that they will know the measurements because this picture now they can enlarge it to this 
you get so it depends on the size of your frame so the size of your frame would uh, would determine how large your picture will be i hope you are getting me so you, you they will print it on art paper for you so after printing it for you is about 150 naira after printing it for you then you will take it to where to laminate then you are going to laminate it for you so this that you are seeing is lamination this part they've already laminated it so there are different types of lamination there's 3d lamination and there is sugar lamination this particular lamination is 3d um, sugar lamination so they are all good and beautiful it depends on how you want your picture to look like you see the way it is that 3d used to it's used to shine sort of so that is that after you you have this then you're good to go these are the most important thing that we need then also we will need something called a straw board well you can improvise this cardboard with carton something thick you just to cover the back of the picture so you can improvise it so this then we need screw we need something like this we need tack nails so you will see how we are going to use it when we are coupling it and also we need tape we need brown tape and black tape so that is what we need for this project yes yeah. so let's go ahead and couple our frame now the first thing you're going to do is to remove this paper so now we are going to cut the picture to the size of the frame this is the size of the frame so this all these ones need to go off we have to determine um, the size of the frame so that it will enter it so you are going to cut out this excesses i'm going to trim it out this way So this is how it looks. So now we'll fix it in. So you see it's still it's still big. It's still big. So I have to trim it very well so that it will enter the frame. Now you see what we have. Wow. You see what we have now. So we'll take our straw board. These are straw board. We'll cut the same size of this. Like this. So it will be a protector at the back. Then we have our tack nails. These are tack nails. We'll just fix it here. You can use armor or any you can use scissors to pull it in a bit all right so see we've secured it now at the back so if you are not satisfied with using scissors you can use armor to you know to pull it in so just to secure you see it's secured now now the next thing we are going to do is to work with our tape now this is the brown tape the difference between this brown tape and the black tape is that the brown this brown tape you know stick more on the on the frame than the black than using black so first use your brown tape and this is how to use it we are going to be covering these edges so this is what we are going to do first you will measure here to here mm -hmm. okay now this is what we are going to do we are going to cover this 
nail something like this just watch what i'm doing closely then take it in like this okay so you go ahead and do the four corners four corners you do the four corners all right so you go ahead again and put this yes so this is what we have now so the next thing now to do is to work with the black tape so now this is how to put the black tape So we are going to use black tape to cover all these edges here, all this place, close to this side, neatly. You place it this way. See? Now, so this is how it looks. You may decide not to cover this inner part. Like this. So it will look like this. You see? The tape. This place was only taped. These edges was only taped. So this side was left. You see the way? For the paper, paper will still be remaining. The straw board will remain here. But if you want to just cover it this way, there is nothing bad in it. At least to prevent any kind of maybe water or anything. So you can decide to cover it this way since it's going to be at the back. So or you can just decide to leave this inner part. So it all depends on you. It's all good. So the next thing to do is to put, you know, like an anger where you, what you will use to hook it to the wall. So just find the middle part of your frame. Make sure it's at the right position. Then find the middle part. The width of this frame is 9. 9 inches. So 9 inches divided by 2 is 4.5. So around here is where my hook will be. So, I'll have my hook here. So, I'll have my screw. You can use nail to tack it to it. It's not a big deal. So, then I'll put my screw. Then my screwdriver to screw it down. Now, this is how it is. This is our frame. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of the class. So this is how it looks. Isn't this beautiful? I hope this video was helpful. Yeah, so this is the back. And this is the front. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I wanted to give this video a thumbs up. I want you to comment on the comment section below. Let me know how you feel about this tutorial. If you want something like this, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any suggestion on video that you want me to make, as this one of our subscribers here has suggested, you can also let me know in the comment section below. Share this video to other people. Share it on your social media handle, your Facebook, your Twitter. Let everybody come and learn this simple but unique skill. Thank you once again for watching this video to the end. My name is Tilda Mulala and I hope to see you 
in my next video make sure you subscribe <laughs> bye